hello guys welcome back to the youtube channel of the concept guy and in this video we will talk about how do we use the sensitivity analysis and the controller block that is adjust in dwsim and we will kind of talk about how we optimize the data and actually get our needs according to our flow sheet okay so first we will open this dwsim one more thing that i want to tell you is that i have been currently working on a project and i'm just trying to complete it as soon as i can and that's why there was a delay in posting the videos so i hope you guys will just wait for that great project that i'm working on i will release it soon in google play store and i hope it works fine and i will surely complete it as soon as i can and so now here we are in dwsim we will go to file up here and just create a new steady state simulation okay now it's opened and we have this window again here we'll click on next add the material so what do we have here now let's let's take a case of distillation here okay so the compounds are acetone and water and the thermodynamics package is Raoult's law that's the ideal one okay first we will select this so type here acetone it will come up check this box next let's try water one more thing that i want to tell you is that uh, I've been posting DWSIM videos with a lot more explanation and uh, various steps that are needed. So you can actually watch them. It has been uploaded in the uh, playlist of mine. And here we select the Raoult's law. Let's add them. So do just watch those videos. Uh, it will be really helpful for you. And next, why did I select the C5? It helps us to actually vary our SI unit. So as we have mole per second, and it is in ATM, so we can vary it according to our needs. Okay, molar flow rate is mole per second. Everything is fine now. If we want a change, then we can do it back here in the flow sheet also. How? Uh, let me tell you. Let's open, uh, maximize this window. And here in the edit, you have simulation settings where you can actually change the thermodynamics, add reactions, do various kind of stuff. Uh, system of units can be changed too. But for us, for our flow sheet, it's okay. So we'll select this stream. The feed stream first then we also need this distillate then we need this bottom product too okay then we go to the column uh, to the distillation column let's track so let's just quickly name this select this and name this as feed uh, f -E -E -D. this as this as distillate let's just write d okay and this uh, as our bottom product so b and this is my distillation column so i will write it dc distillation column and next we need to specify the feed um, okay we need to specify its flow rate is 100 mole per second and pressure is 1 atm okay so pressure and vapor fraction from this flash spec into the input data of the feed so 1 atm and molar flow is 100 as we have the data 100 and the vapor phase mole fraction is zero it's just liquid and uh, pressure 1 atm 100 mole per second uh, flow rate is 100 mole per second pressure is 1 atm next we have acetone 0 0.7 and water 0 0.3 mole fractions in the compound amounts acetone is 0 0.7 and this is 0 0.3 obviously because 1 minus 0 0.7 is 0 0.3 so total is 1 accept the changes so now we have done this we have specified our feed let's join all the streams first of all we also need need two energy streams here why because one for this reboiler and one for this condenser so let's just click our distillation column in the specification uh, first we need to configure it configuration feed feed port let it be feed port 6 this is the placement where you want to place the feed it is not stage but where do you want to connect it actually so we will connect it around in the middle click enter it will connect in the middle okay if we put feed here and kind of remove this then it will join at the top let me show you it will join at the top it doesn't really matter but it's only that the presentation is good if we kind of put it in the middle then we need to add the products to the distillate here is d and click enter and then bottoms is bottoms is b come on uh bottom is b yes 
that's right so we have connected and now the duties so reboiler duty is this one because this is reboiler this is condenser uh, you know that already right i hope so and and next we will quickly do this if you want to rotate this click on this and right click and then you will have an option called rotate rotate it like it's going into this reboiler it's done let's quickly do the specification here okay one more thing in configuration we have these stages to remember like uh, we'll see that later but for now everything seems to be okay kind of here in the specification well wait a second just a minute uh, yes in the specification let's have the number of stages so what do we have here we have here 13 number of stages which stage is 8 okay so 13 number of stages not 12 rest everything let it be default just check that the property package is raul's law and these solver techniques we will discuss in in a different video but for now now let it be default and for condenser we have a total condenser with reflux ratio as what's the reflux ratio so our reflux ratio is 0 0.7061 0 0.70611 yes so here we have need to enter it 0 0.70611 yes that's it just right okay so reflux ratio in the compound compound means like this reflux ratio value okay and next we go to reboiler reboiler we need what we need actually the pressure let it be this we are just operating on our same pressure however the pressure actually varies like at the bottom there is kind of high pressure and at the top is uh, a little lower pressure in general cases but let's just do the simulation uh, because this is not the actual plant so we will modify the simulation a bit okay so the product flow rate is 29.592 uh, mole per second just check this so it's 29.592 am i right rest yes i think i'm right uh 29.592 yes uh so what's the matter now if there are some red messages i really don't write, like the color red here in dw sim because red means something is wrong and i know what's wrong but you can just pause the video and tell me what's wrong okay so what here wrong is that i have been mentioned the feet position yet okay i haven't mentioned the feed position the feed stage yet and that's why there is kind of these red messages that are coming uh, so what we need to do here is just kind of see where can we really put that so first thing is the stage level has a pressure of zero so click on this interpolate it will interpolate the pressure next also what we see here is that the connections are okay but the stream the stream stage association is still not specified to see the feed stage location is still not mentioned so i hope if you have really looked over it then uh, these measure messages kind of let me just show them so there was some errors uh, and you can actually read those errors with the calculation while the calculation was not uh, done because the stage 8 wasn't mentioned here uh, like I had here where yes here so let's just solve the flow sheet let's check if everything is correct uh, still something is wrong okay mm, this don't matter uh, let's just check out what's wrong so let's just solve it again uh, I guess it there was some uh, loading problem it was loading a bit late so everything is fine now uh, the all the specifications had been done it was just that this object was loading the data and doing the calculation that took a time to update here so these are all the values that we have but certainly if we want something more okay so if we want like the bottoms product to be uh, let me show you a bit so bottom product has a mole fraction we go to click on this bottom product and we go to the compound amounts it has 0 0.8372 water okay we kind of want more like more water in this site let's check if everything was actually fine uh, one atm uh, this was not fine okay so change it to 100 okay so you need to check again and again if everything is fine because sometimes these values may change so just press the value and click on enter and this is fine let's solve the flow sheet again 
uh, let's see yes it's zero water is 0 0.9868 and if we need 0 0.99 percent purity then we can go here in the optimization tab and click here we have two methods of optimization one is a multivariate optimizer and the next is the sensitivity analysis so when to choose what well as the name suggests there is multivariate optimizer okay so it kinds of like uses multivariable okay many variables and optimize them it's kind of helpful if we have an equation or something so for our general case like this is a simple case so we will just go through the sensitivity analysis for now and the tab opens up here and here is the flow sheet tab okay so here the new case we will uh, report a new case then kind of let's go to independent variables so what are independent variables independent means i for independent so i for independent and these are those variables which i can actually change okay if you think like that like independent means what i can change so i for independent and i for that's me okay so what i can change so what i can change here to improve the impurity uh, the purity of the bottom stream is that i can change the reflux ratio why so because changing the reflux ratio will actually in, in fact an increase in the reflux ratio will actually make the process give a purer product okay so we will change the reflux ratio that's what i will change so we will change that's i for independent and i for me so i will change the object object is this dc the reflex ratio is associated with our distillation column and it's actually this condenser specification value so you can try this by yourself if reflux ratio here works or not but i will just select this for now condenser specification value because this is really helpful and its current state is this so let's just copy this kind of copy and paste because we need to increase it so we will increase up to so the lower limit and the upper limit is where to increase at till what extent so let's increase it to 0 0.9 that's okay we can also add more variables here independent variables but for now it's okay let's go to dependent variables let's see here we need to add variables here so dependent is what will depend on my independent variable so my purity of the bottom product the bottom mole fraction actually will depend on what i i changed here okay so now in the dependent variable i need to add so click this plus sign on the first variable we'll select b bottoms uh, the b yes and select the property of molar fraction okay it's m m m uh, molar 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 fraction yes that's molar fraction molar fraction but wait a second i kind of uh we want the mixture yes molar fraction mixture water okay the unit is it's nothing uh let's go to the results tab and start this sensitivity analysis so we see that the purity is increasing with our reflux ratio and it's around this much okay so it's like 0.85 to get a better value you can actually copy this uh and uh, do the sensitivity analysis again with putting it up here until 0 0.9 and vary it again one more thing that we can do here is go to our flow sheet this is a flow sheet simple flow sheet and then we go to what to go to we go to the logical operation because there are some logics involved in our controller block and here we need to actually kind of create the logic that take the value of this reflux ratio and control this product so for this block let's select this this is the adjust controller block and the manipulated object that i can change so i can change the dc and the property of the dc, DC is condenser specification value which is this much the reflux ratio uh, you can call it the control so i can change this and control my b so control the object of b and the property of oh there are so many things that i can change but main focus is molar fraction water uh, then uh, this is too much data yes i am kind of close yes molar fraction mixture water the current value is displayed and then we will just put our required value 0 0.99 then we need to add the maximum error to the 0 0.99 that's this much so that we can actually tolerate our errors 
accordingly and solve globally just solve globally okay in the complete flow sheet so solve flow sheet or f5 let's click that and i hope everything will be okay okay something is not okay let's look at it uh, there are some red messages the flow sheet is red doesn't look nice actually so kind of let's again solve it and look at okay one more thing that i need to tell you is that in the sensitivity analysis we can actually plot uh, in the result in the chart we can actually plot this diagram and find our values accordingly so the x and y are mentioned and you just need to click this draw this will draw a uh, point uh, let i have kind of zoomed it a bit and kind of it's lost but it's okay uh, you can actually put a new case and kind of do it with the draw the chart too and anyways the edges button is kind of working wrong uh, I need to see it like if everything is okay uh, let's enter the value again uh, I hope and uh, let's enter this and solve globally uh, okay so do mention in the comment section that what could be actually done to actually overcome this problem okay uh, well this problem really doesn't come every time but as you can see it's showing the current value 0 0.99 maybe that's the problem okay so this is the problem that it's already changed to 0 0.99 and perhaps my reflux ratio has increased so i need to reset these values again to the initial state that is 0 0.7 uh, it was 0 0.70611 okay and kind of like delete this should i delete this let's see let's solve the flow sheet and check everything is correct or not yeah it's correct now as you can see here and we have got 0 0.833 so again i'm telling you if something goes wrong check all the values if they are correct like the reflux ratio was 1.8 or something kind of that and i just change it to the original value and then figured out that everything is correct so this is also a way to put the edges and uh, manipulate the reflux ratio and get a uh, better pure purity in the bottoms products or even in in fact in some of the flow sheets you need to actually get a better distillate product so thank you i hope you like the video please do check my other videos of pw sim and i will surely uh, put more videos on this and with the version 6 so please subscribe if you are new to this channel and i hope you will like my videos a lot thank you bye bye do practice yourself